Welcome to Mr. Bebop. The Murder on the Links is the third published detective fiction novel by British writer Agatha Christie, the second novel featuring the Belgian sleuth Hercule Poirot, with his good friend Captain Arthur Hastings. Here are some interesting facts and trivia about the novel. The Murder on the Links is a work of detective fiction by Agatha Christie, first published in the U.S. by Dodd, Mead & Company in March 1923, and in the U.K. by The Bodley Head, in May of the same year. It is the second novel featuring Hercule Poirot and Arthur Hastings. The novel received its first true publication as a four-part serialization in the Grand Magazine from December 1922 to March 1923 under the title of The Girl with the Anxious Eyes before it was issued in book form. This was Christie's first published work for the Grand Magazine, which went on to publish many of her short stories throughout the 1920s. Christie dedicated her third book as follows, to my husband, a fellow enthusiast for detective stories and to whom I am indebted for much helpful advice and criticism. Christie refers here to her first husband, Archibald Christie, from whom she was divorced in 1928. The story takes place in northern France, giving Poirot a hostile competitor from the Paris Chourite. The book is notable for a subplot in which Hastings falls in love, a development greatly desired on Agatha's part, parceling off Hastings to wedded bliss in the Argentine. Having introduced her now famous Belgian detective through the voice of the useful sidekick Captain Hastings in the mysterious affair at Styles, after his second appearance in this novel, Agatha Christie felt that Poirot could now greet his public alone. Hastings' appearances in Poirot's later novels are restricted to a few cases in which he participates on his periodic returns to England from Argentina without his wife. Poirot receives a letter from a Paul Renault, asking him to come and help as he has been receiving threatening letters. Poirot journeys to France with Hastings, only to discover they arrive too late to save his client, who has been found that morning stabbed in the back and left face down in a newly dug grave adjacent to a local golf course. But why is the dead man wearing his son's overcoat? And who was the impassioned love letter in the pocket for? Before Poirot can answer these questions, the case is turned upside down by the discovery of a second, identically murdered corpse. Hercule Poirot, the famous Belgian detective called in by the man who would be murdered. Captain Arthur Hastings, Poirot's assistant on the case, accompanying him at his request, and the narrator of the story. Paul Renaud, slash, Georges Cano, the victim of the case, requested Poirot's assistance for an unknown matter prior to his murder. Involved in the Biroldi murder 22 years ago, in which he was the killer, but escaped justice when caught. Eloise Renaud, Renaud's wife, whom he met in South America, helped her husband fake his kidnapping on the night of his death. Initially suspected of the murder by Poirot, until Eloise sees her husband's body, Jack Renaud, Renaud's son, born in South America, and raised both there and in France. Mistakenly suspected of murder by Giroux, due to an argument between him and his father. Formerly in love with Martha, now in love with Bella. Francoise Arachet, 
an elderly servant of the Reynolds household, one of three servants present at the Reynolds house during the crime. Leonie Allard A young maid of the Reynolds household, one of three servants present at the Reynolds house during the crime. Denise Allard, a maid of the Reynolds household and Leonie's sister, and one of three servants present at the Reynolds house during the crime. Auguste, the Reynolds gardener, absent from the house on the night of the murder. Gabriel Stoner, Reynolds secretary, absent at the time of the murder and has no knowledge of his employer's past. Masters, Monsieur Reynolds English chauffeur. Madame de Brule, slash, Madame Jean Biroldi, Renaud's neighbor and blackmailer. Involved in plotting the murder of her husband 22 years ago but escaped justice when exposed. Martha de Brule, Madame de Brule's daughter, who wants to marry Jack, unaware he is in love with another woman. Lucien Bex, Commissary of Police for Merlinville. Monsieur Hotet, Examining Magistrate and Giroux's Assistant. More respectful of Poirot's reputation, and thus more helpful to the Belgian detective. Dr. Durand, local doctor and police surgeon in Merlinville. Monsieur Giroux, detective of the Paris Chourite and the investigating officer, considers Poirot to be his rival and resents his involvement in the investigation. Monsieur Marchaud, Police Sergeant in Merlinville's Police. Joseph Ahrens, a British theatrical agent. Bella Devine, a stage performer with whom Jack is in love, twin of Dulce Devine. Dulcie Devine, a stage performer and Bella's twin sister. She tells Hastings her name is Cinderella, and she becomes his love interest. The Murder on the Links was presented as a one-hour, 30-minute radio adaptation in the Saturday Night Theatre Strand on BBC Radio 4 on September 15, 1990, the centenary of Christie's birth. It was repeated on July 8, 1991, and again in 2015. The cast included John Moffat as Poirot, Jeremy Clyde as Captain Hastings, and Madeline Smith as Dulcie Devine. It was adapted by Michael Bakewell, and produced and directed by Enid Williams. An adaptation of the novel was made for the series Agatha Christie's Poirot on February 11, 1996. It was produced by Carnival Films and starred David Suchet as Hercule Poirot and Hugh Fraser as Arthur Hastings. 
While much of the novel's plot was retained, the adaptation featured a number of changes, which included the setting being changed to Deauville, France, where filming took place on site. It was adapted by Anthony Horowitz and directed by Andrew Grieve. The Second Night of Maitanti Ayaka Fuji Takashi, a two-night release in December 2005, was an adaptation of The Murder on the Links. The first night had adapted the ABC Murders. The show starred Shiro Ito as Takashi Akafuji, who represents the character of Poirot. The seventh episode of the second season of the French television series, Les Petits Murders d'Agatha Christie, was an adaptation of this novel. It aired in 2014. The Murder on the Links was released by HarperCollins as a graphic novel adaptation on July 16, 2007, adapted by Francois Riviere and illustrated by Marc Piskic. This was translated from the edition first published in France, by Emmanuel Proust Editions in 2003, and then translated to English, published by HarperCollins in 2007. The Murder on the Links was adapted for the stage, by American playwright Stephen Dietz in 2021. Performed by an ensemble cast of six, with Poirot and Hastings played by either male or female actors, this serious comic adaptation is scheduled to premiere in the North Coast Repertory Theatre in San Diego, in April 2023. Arthur Hastings meets his future wife Dulcie Devine on a train in the murder on the links under her stage name Cinderella. According to the game show Jeopardy, the murder on the links contains the first known usage of the phrase, the scene of the crime. Thank you for watching. See you again next time.